bar chords giving you fits, you feel like you're never going to get there, stick around in this lesson. I'm going to show you how to get better at playing those bar chords. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin and this is Maggie May getting her YouTube treats on. As always, my wife Vicky's behind the camera. Hello. And we're going to be uh, getting your bar chords up to shape and helping you get better at those. So the number one thing I'll say about bar chords is don't avoid them. So if you see a, a song that has a bar chord in it and you're like, I, I'm not going there, I can't, can't do that, you're missing out on a lot of songs and a lot of great guitar fun. <laughs> so I know it doesn't sound fun when you're playing a bar chord and it sounds horrible, but my number one tip is don't avoid it. You got to kind of work through it. And this lesson, I'm going to give you some tips on the things you can do to get there. So it's like anything else. When you're first learning how to play the guitar in general, and you'll never, you might think you can never get that C chord down or change from a D to a G or what it might be. So in the, in the world of guitar, it's all about kind of muscle memory, uh, strength. There's a lot of strength when it comes to playing these bar chords, uh, repetition. And if you use these tips, I really think it's going to make a big difference. So I'm going to use a simple uh, chord progression that we're going to use during this lesson. We're going to be playing a D to an A, and you'll often see me play my A chord just with my index finger barring strings 4, 3, and 2. And then we're going to have a B minor. We're going to focus on that B minor chord today, and a G. So playing this chord progression, Throughout this lesson, I'll just kind of be switching it up, changing the chords around, and we're going to focus on this B minor chord. And even though we're kind of working on one bar chord today, it's something that applies to all bar chords. So we're getting on the bicycle, so to speak. Uh, when we first learn how to ride a bike, you might need some training wheels. You might need somebody to hold that seat for you. Kind of think of this as those things that all take place to help us get to that end goal. Um, but as a kid, you don't want to not ride a bike, right? You want to do it. So we want to play some bar chords so we can get there. So we're going to focus on this B minor bar chord. Uh, let's talk about bar chords in general. So for a bar chord, we're basically using our index finger. And we are our index finger kind of becomes like a, a capo. Um, if you used a capo before, or actually if you visualize it as the nut of your guitar. So when you're using your index finger to press down on all five or six strings, depending on the chord, and then we're putting chord shapes in front of that bar. And the reason this is uh, challenging is because it's just not something that, uh, well, it is for folks who are like supernatural at it. but. Uh, for most of us, it's something that's going to take a little bit of practice because it's not a uh, something we just do every day. You've got to put some uh, time into it. So this uh, index finger is going to kind of act as the nut of the guitar or the bar. And what we'll cover here today, you can apply to all bar chords as you kind of move around the neck. We're just going to focus on the B minor for simplicity today. So it's going to center around four different uh, tips, and we're going to kind of walk through those and then review those. So the first thing I'm going to say before we even talk about like pressing down on strings and how to arch fingers, it's your elbow. <laughs> so uh, what I see folks do, um, you might kind of have your wrist out like this, your elbow out. When you're playing these bar chords, you want to tuck your elbow into your belly. So you have this kind of you know, more relaxed feel. And this elbow is going to be a big key here because it's going to help direct where our wrist goes, where our thumb and our finger go. The first thing to be aware of is if you're playing with your elbow kind of out like this, is tuck that elbow into your belly. If you're enjoying this video, finding it helpful, we're going to tackle those bar chords, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay, number two is this index finger. So uh, our natural inclination usually is to play a bar chord and people say, well, you got to press down on all the strings and, you know, get that to sound out. We're really, we really kind of start here with like the flat, fleshy, fat part of our finger, which is not like the best thing because it's mushy, right? <laughs> so you want to slightly turn your finger and you want to use kind of the more bony part of your finger to press down on these strings. You'll get more uh, pressure and it'll be a little bit easier that way. And here's what I was talking about with that elbow. 
when your elbow gets tucked in, your hand is naturally going to tilt a little, like toward your headstock or your wrist. And that's going to allow us to kind of curve our finger over ever so slightly and press down on those strings. And kind of the first thing to kind of start doing with bar chords, be aware of that elbow and use that you know bony part of your finger, is really just get to the point where you can press down. We're going to use the second fret here. A B minor chord is on the second fret. It's a, actually a fifth string bar chord with this like A minor shape in front of it. But to build it, we're going to start here with our index finger and you want to be able to, we'll focus on the fifth string down. You want to be able to get all those strings to ring out. And then number three is we're going to focus on, and we haven't even started building the chord other than our index finger, right, is our wrist. So when you're playing guitar, and especially if you have a, a larger hand, you'll see like when I play guitar, you'll see my thumb kind of peeking out over here over the neck. And I might even be more than peeking. <laughs> Hello kind of thing. So um, with open chords, you'll see that a lot. Now with a bar chord, you're not going to see my thumb. We really need to use our thumb to get the pressure on the back of the neck. So our thumb, and you'll have to play around to what's comfortable for you, but you've got your index finger slightly curved, got your elbow in, finger curved, and you need to put some pressure on that index finger. And we're going to use our thumb to do that. Now, if you're kind of doing this, which is sometimes like a natural kind of beginner thing to do, is we'll kind of wrench that wrist out so we because it feels like well, if I get my wrist in front I'll be able to push down harder which is like physics that's true but it's uncomfortable, uh, yeah me? it's gonna hurt for a guys while, yeah. yeah you do this for a while and got that you know more of a 90 degree angle here with your wrist I don't know if you can see that that's gonna start you're gonna start feeling the burn here carpal here in the tunnel. forum yeah <laughs> And we'll have, we'll be helping out our old buddy carpal tunnel syndrome. So you want to have your elbow kind of coming in, curving that finger. You want more of a line here with your wrist. And the way that's going to happen is being, uh, playing close attention to where that thumb is and the pressure you're putting on. And a lot, this is going to take time. So, um, find what's comfortable for you. Experiment with it a little bit. And the next steps, we'll kind of get into the nitty gritty of like how to shape those chords and work on the things that might not be sounding so great. And then number four, finally, the guy's going to play a bar chord, right? So we want to get our mechanics right. We want to build the foundation. And now we're going to be actually playing that bar chord chord shape. So to do that for this B minor chord, we're going to have that index finger fretting, that second fret. Now for a B minor chord, you don't need to worry about the sixth string. That string should not be played. An easy way, easier way to do that is you're going to use the tip of your index finger. It's going to actually be pressing down on strings five through one, but the tip of your index finger is going to kind of rest against the sixth string so you get that instead of this. So first kind of uh, line of defense here is to practice getting that bar index on that second fret and playing those five four three two one strings so they ring out clear now we're going to work on putting our uh b minor shape together and that's uh ironically we're putting an a minor shape in front of it so you have your index here on the second fret we're going to use our middle finger on the second string third fret our ring finger on the fourth string fourth fret and our pinky finger on the third string fourth fret so one thing i like to tell folks uh we run a relaxing guitar membership and this is always a hot topic especially when people are moving more from that beginner and starting to get into more intermediate and playing more songs uh, i like to start with these steps bar chord bar i should say bar finger with the index kind of do that first then we're going to put the a minor in front of that bar you can even do that without playing the bar chord just to kind of get used to the shape and then whole thing together so index finger a minor shape adding the bar and i 
think that just kind of helps with that progression of playing this chord together. So back to that chord progression we talked about at the beginning. This is something that you should practice, and it's not going to sound great, especially if you're newer at this. But you can practice moving from that D to that A to the B minor bar chord, G, and then back to that B minor to the N A, and then back and forth. Those four chords are gonna sound good together no matter kind of what progression you play them in or what order. And this way you've got three open chords, right? You've got three open chords and we're going to incorporate that bar chord into that mix. Less pressure, you're going to play eight bar chords for this song. You can just learn to get this one bar chord shape down. And I always say, Learn it correctly first and quickly later. That is really important when bar chords, you really want to get the mechanics down and start off on that right foot and the speed and the transition to changing chords that will all come later. Um, it really is all about a little bit every day. So if you can just kind of practice these ideas, these tips for these bar chords a little bit every day, it's gonna build up. And then for the actual physical parts, let's talk about this B minor chord. If you're having trouble, one of the things I'll see is this, this high E is kind of flat or muted. That's typically an issue with your index finger because you're not putting enough pressure on that first string, second fret to get it to ring out. It's kind of the most common thing I see. The other thing I'll see is, or it might be that your middle finger that's fretting the second string here, you're kind of letting it lay down and drag a little bit and touch that first string. So it's just like with open chords, it's important to arch those fingers. So tuck in that elbow, pay attention to that thumb, keep that wrist kind of in a line, and that way you can arch these fingers and get some good pressure into the fretboard. Same thing with the um, the pinky. <laughs> the um, Sometimes that pinky will want to kind of drag and hit that third string. So it's really like starts here with this index and then being uh, very aware of how you're arching these fingers to get those to, to ring out. And while you're kind of building up, like I talked about, bar, A minor shape, B minor, is a good idea to just pick each string individually. That way you can then find those areas and oh, I need to press down harder there. And we're talking like, increments it's like little slight changes that make a big difference here but kind of picking it out and then strumming and then picking again is a good idea so tackle those tips get better at playing those bar chords that b minor is just the beginning for a song lesson where there's a bar chord shape just one bar chord shape and an incredible tune check out this lesson next remember that vicky maggie and i very much appreciate your support here on youtube uh, we couldn't be more happy with how things have been going and we really appreciate your time and all the great comments and until next time remember you're never too old to learn